Agriculture has always played an important role in the socio-economic development of Guyana. Its neighbors in the 15-member regional bloc, CARICOM, have always looked to Guyana with an estimated 3.3 million hectares of agricultural land as having a vital role in the Caribbean's thrust towards food security. But Guyana is being robbed of some of its prime agricultural land and officials say climate change is to blame. The seawater we know is saline and once saline water gets on the, on the land it's very difficult for that land to recover for crop production because there's no, nothing we can do in terms of adding any kind of amendment to correct soil salinity. The land will have to be left for over a period of time un until it re um, that salinity is lost. Cognizant of its vulnerability, Guyana has come to recognize the importance of mangroves, especially for coastal areas. Approximately 90% of Guyana's population lives on a narrow coastline strip approximately one meter below sea level. That coastal belt is protected by seawall barriers that have existed since the Dutch occupation of the country. In recent times, severe storms have toppled these defenses, resulting in significant flooding, a danger scientists predict may become more frequent. Everybody know of Guyana's seawall, the famous seawall, which is, a, is an expensive structure to maintain and to continue to build, particularly as sea level rises. It's an enormous expenditure for Guyana, but Guyana has been spending an average of $3 billion a year trying to maintain and strengthen the seawall. But in order to ensure that the seawall and the sea dams continue to um, serve us well and to be less vulnerable to the onslaught of the ocean. We have been promoting, protecting and promoting the growth of mangrove. Technicians came up with the idea of constructing geotextile tubes to help natural regeneration of mangroves. Guyana has about 80,000 hectares of mangrove in place right now and over the last three or four years, the country has been accelerating the growth of mangroves, many of which were lost 20 to 30 years ago. When it comes to climate change and global warming, Ramsami believes Guyanese should take pride that they are perhaps the most aware country in the world. Ramsami noted that no country is too small to do something about climate change. In fact, he said there are things that every citizen in the world can do to help in the reduction of emissions. Desmond Brown, IPS News, Georgetown, Guyana.